So uh, here's a short little video to introduce you to um, some project work you're going to be doing in philosophy. Uh, your topic is going to be atheism and the critiques uh, of religious belief. The special thing about this is that it's going to be um, independent learning. That means you're not going to be taught in lessons uh, in a conventional sense. You're going to have to kind of go out there yourself and, and find out uh, the information and, and also how to present it. Some of the key areas that you're going to be covering um, are first of all some definitions of atheism and agnosticism. And one of the key things we've got to make sure of is that we, we go far, far beyond what we learn at GCSE. You're also going to be looking at the sociological critiques. That's from the field of sociology. Um, and also the psychological critiques. For those of you doing psychology A-level, that will overlap quite nicely. As well as also looking at the popularist critiques. That's people like Richard Dawkins, stuff that's in the media um, quite a lot. One of the kind of real key evaluation questions that, that's involved in this is looking um, really at whether theism is stronger than athe atheism um, or is in fact in kind of um, a philosophical sense atheism um, a stronger um, field of study. And obviously that's going to be a key part B question. Some of the key people you're going to be looking at is first of all Aya. Uh, very important for the implications paper later in the year as well. Um, then we've got the sociologists, um, Durkheim and Marx. The um, sociologists, Jung and Freud, as well as people like Dawkins. That's no, by, no, by no means limiting, though, um, and other people can obviously come into this. The time frame for your work is, is really you're giving yourself at least five lessons. Um, but actually... It's going to be your homework time, as well as any other kind of study days, um, will, will all be used in, in part of this project. The idea of it being independent is that you can really kind of grow in confidence in the topic um, in your own way. And here you can see um, a, a girl appearing who's got her hand up. She's confident. She knows her stuff. Um, and she'll be able to answer questions. She'll be able to talk about it. But also, obviously, quite quite crucially, you write an essay on it. And that's going to be part of your task, to write an essay um, on the, the critiques of religion. Um, and the essay title is going to flash up here. For some reason it comes up a little bit too quickly, but luckily it's going to be at the bottom of this video, um, so you can read it at your leisure and get ready to answer it. It's about examining the key ideas and then obviously evaluating them. As well as writing an essay... Um, you're also going to be putting together a portfolio of your learning. Um, and you can do this in a, a whole range of different ways. The essay is going to be due by the end of term, the portfolio by September. It can be a hard copy, a folder, a book, um, however you want to present it. Or it could be something digital, um, such as a website. You could do a learning blog of what you learn each week. Or maybe even try to write your own wiki. Your resources are going to be very important because they need to be to A2 standard. Um, there's quite a few bits on Edmodo already, including a copy of the A2 textbook, so you can use that at home. Uh, there's stuff on the RE blog, but obviously you can use textbooks um, that are appropriate for A-level study from sociology um, and psychology. Now here we've got a very very happy looking smiley and the reason he's so happy is because actually he's in control and that's what you're going to be as you make your way through this topic of atheism you're in control um, you need to organize your time you need to work out what you're going to do in each lesson and also in your spare time as well in your study periods some of the key things to remember here is first of all the essay is going to be due by the end of term um, so that needs to be done by then um, it's up to you whether you work on it on your own, or I'm quite happy for the essay to be written in pairs. That can be quite a, a useful task. Um, again, with the portfolio, if you think working in twos or, twos or threes uh, will produce better results, by all means, I'm quite happy for you to work um, in that collaborative way, because that can really help your, your learning. Perhaps think carefully about who you pick to work with. I want a bit you to be creative. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what you can come up with, particularly with your portfolios. 
but it is important that we're academic, that we use scholarly resources. The final thing to just remind you is that it begins now. As soon as you've watched this video, you know what you need to do. You need to start thinking about how you're going to get your information. You need to start thinking about how you're going to organise your time. If you're working with people, when is it that you're going to work? Um, and, and really kind of getting that, that plan of action um, in place so you're not trying to do it all at the last minute. Because if you are, you won't have learnt the stuff, you won't have done the reading, um, and you won't be able to do a good job. So realistically, the planning starts now, um, so you can get this done and get it done well.